Echo Fortius, Nigma. this time going to be starting on the blue side. Echo Fortius going to be starting on the red side. Let's go ahead and see how this will play out. Final game, final chance for either of these teams to get one over the other. Let's see how this will unfold. All right. Um, for how these two teams are mobilizing against each other, I do like that early on, there isn't going to be much interaction, nor are we going to be seeing a three-man stack towards the, the mid-side turret. I feel like a lot of teams have already abandoned that because of the early the early pressure that they get doesn't actually um, uh, mitigate the amount of experience and go lost and shared amongst three players whenever they try to get their pri early priority. So looking forward here, for the side of Nigma Galaxy, I think what they need to do also is just be very, very wary about of the, the lane fact that priority is here that's going to try to tip the uh, balance in their favor. As Chami and Trizel will be laning against each other here, mostly just trading health again, as Baron laners do. But it looks like uh, Dumb is going to try to get a jump onto Aaron here with Hungaker providing the damage on his back line. There is trying to prevent Juicy from getting a kill, but Juicy still gets it anyway. Taking out Lysian first, and Aaron now comes in to try to turn it around on Hungaker. Doesn't quite land the charm, but at least uh, it keeps him at bay, but now Romney very, very low. He's going to be able to back off there, but unfortunately, Kimakai uh, does get one last shot there to take out uh, Ramley. And despite the fact they were quite low in health, Alexi not able to finish them off. Oh, oh, wait. Did. oh wait, 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 maybe, maybe not. Alexi tries to go for the shot, but John Kimakai not really backing out of this. But then with Jushi coming into the fray here, perhaps it might be an opportunity here to continue bring some hurt into Alexi. Sir Dumb is uh, around the corner, though, Lando, so maybe Sir might not be able to dodge out of the way there, but that does interrupt their attempt to try to keep the pressure going as Sir Dumb is now forced to back out. Very nicely done there from Demon Kite to at least give a little bit of uh, breathing room for uh, Chami to come into play. I do like the fact that uh, Saddam, oh, Saddam, oh, Saddam almost gets this caught is bad. There, but this is he's going to get caught. He's going to get exploded. Chami will be able to get the kill credit there with the yeah. assistance of Aaron. But oh, oh my Jushi, goodness, Jushi almost gets taken down with the piercing shadow, with the dawning shadow, excuse me. Yeah, and Chami tries to put some hurt onto Trizel. Not quite uh, going to be able to follow up on that, but then a lot of priority now is going to be on that mid. That's where the Ash is, and they're pushing hard onto that tier up. one. Right at five minutes here, good start for Nigma Galaxy. Yeah, that's not so far. Echo already taking the Rift Herald here, while Nigma secures the Dragon, which is obviously going to be more uh, uh, more favorable here for NGX because they definitely want to enable Jushi to be able to pop off uh, once it gets to that mid-game stage when the power spikes start to kick in. Rift Herald is going to be called around the top. That's pretty much going to be able to take down the Tier 1 turret. And in response, NGX is going to try to focus in on it. But then look, Trizel jumps straight onto the Aaron on the Ari, but the <laughs> Shivanas comes in on the back there to take out Trizel, preventing the death of the Ari. That was a really good position there for uh, Shivanas to be in. All right, so we're now fourth to nothing. Echo has uh, yet to levy any um, what's the call? Just reasonable from a lot of distance. The fact that Demon Kite himself also has the hawk shot to be able to uh, reveal the movings, the comings and goings of enemy movements for Echo here definitely is. Oh wait! Oh, nice arrow! Oh, no. nice stun there, and that's gonna maybe save Aaron. Yes, it does save Aaron just in the nick of time. Now, Demon Kai and Draw, they know the turret is very low, so perhaps we want to try to go for the dive. So Dumb cancels the recall. Draw is gonna jump straight oh, into hello. it. Hunnigar in deep, deep hand. trouble now. He's gonna be trying to around, but Draw takes a lot of damage though. Unfortunately, the Nasus will fall to the center, and that will allow them to back out of that. That could have been really bad. Meantime, the fight's still not done yet. As Chami goes on to Ramley, the shielding keeping him alive. Now he's gonna try to focus in on Jushi as it looks like tries to bring the hurt but still isn't able to take on that Sivana. So it looked like a little bit of attempt there to try to take on the turret. Demon Kai is going to try to do it alone, just chipping away at a turret. Should be able to take it down, but it was a little bit of a shame that Draw had to take one for the team. All right, very nicely done there. Don't know whether or not he's going to throw out his uh, Chata Krista arrow. No. Nope. Jushi there. Jushi, no jump on. Jump oh, okay. goes in, gets showstopper. Not entirely a good place for him to good be. Good charm. Nice charm right into a beautiful Chata Krista arrow. Right onto the center. Here comes Trezel. Trezel in the middle of it all. Do you all need a nice pair of crocodile shoes? <laughs> Jushi could be turned into a pair of shoes here if Trezel decides to go in so dumb as well, not too far behind him. And it seems that that setup from the Enchanted Crystal Arrow from Demon Kite was paramount for them getting that kill onto Ramley. Now, the way NGX is just wearing down the mid as well as the bottom, they really want to set up priority over that Dragon Pit for sure. They want to secure those objectives dumb, throughout very this much. 
Uh, holding on Ron. to his position here. Beautiful showstopper yep. on to one there. And isolating draw, making sure he's out for the count there. That pretty much will take it on the Nasus first. Now Jushi is going to be keeping himself shielded up, holding his own there while NGS chases Echo far away from the pit, taking down Elise in. Now they're going to try to take out the Corky as well as the net. And then uh, now, oh. sorry, the set. And Ulex I almost get caught out there by Eren, but then he, they're really just doing that to keep him out of the way. They secure the dragon anyway. They send the Rim Herald down to try to mid. And looks like NGX is now just amping up the pressure, boiling it hot, hot, hot onto the mid lane of Echo Fortius. All right, they want to try to break down this turret as quickly as they can here. Oh, I mean, because they don't want to be damn good to bite into this, though. Yeah, the draw is going to try to oh, draw boy. them out, but oh, it's coming on oh, the back here. Boy. Oh, he's a charm. And, oh. oh, nice one. Nail it down in the arrow. Tries to get Jiramni right in there. Surdam doesn't get, get burst it down, but he look at the back line there. Watch out. It's going to be the Rimmer coming in. Try to, uh, sorry, the Shivana's trying to get the Surdam, but unfortunately gets turned around there with Echo completely taking out Shivana's. Now, NJS is going to try to turn around this one by taking out Shrizel, focusing all the fire onto their Honeyego. Now it's going to be the one focused on here as draw goes in front. Surdam now a little bit too Low, he can't really afford to uh, come into the fray, but no, he gets dragged into it anyway, though. That's just completely taking him out. Now, Senna does take out the Ash, though, but Aaron still is in play, still is going to be able to keep the push going on here on the mid. Chami now coming in to hunt down Ulexite. Oh on Senna gets the stun down, but isn't able to follow up until he gets out of that route. Keeping the pressure on Ulexite, takes out that Senna, and looks like NGX is going to go ahead and try to end this, maybe. As the charm comes in, Aaron. Backs out away. Ramley, though, a little bit too strong there for them to hold on there. So it looks like both the Riven and the Ari will back out from the high ground. All right. High ground has been backed away from Nigma Galaxy now wanting to close it out. Don't want to give any room for TS error They're going to try to hold on, but then the Tier 1 turret up top is going to be not long for this world, though, as NGS amps up the pressure, keeping Ramley under the thumb. That's going to be a kill onto the set. Now they're going to try to roll in straight onto the two of them. Look at that stasis and a kill as well. Ulexite forced to try to back out to the fountain. In fact, they stunned, they stunned out Trizel before he could even get in the fountain. NGS now rolling over onto Sir Dumb. Looks like this might be the end of all things here as Echo falls apart. The Nexus will break and fall and NGX will come out on top. All right.